Please welcome the legend that is Woody Harrelson, everybody. Where's the applause sign? I know. Like? We can't uh, afford an applause. Real, we give them 10 bucks each and just say applaud every time someone looks <laughs> nervous. Yeah. That's Very what gets sweet. me through. Is this made of the, the, uh, the yeah, hemp? hemp? Yeah. yeah, I've got a pair of trousers made of that. It's awesome. Comfy, right? Yeah, very comfy yeah. and keeps you warm. Yeah, and yeah. lets the breeze go through. Yeah. <laughs> I like to wear them on the beach. If you're going commando. Exactly. <laughs> I imagine you go commando quite a lot. You live in Hawaii, don't you? At the least, I go commando, yeah. Really? <laughs> Do you sometimes go for... Maybe at the most, uh, but no. I'm not going to press you on that. <laughs> it would seem unfair. What, um, what do you do if you... Do you go surfing? Um, uh, yeah, I like surfing. I'm into kite surfing. I really kite, like kite surfing, surfing, you yeah. say? Yeah. I fancy that, but uh, yeah. my kite's not big enough to hold my weight. I've only got a very small kite. <laughs> And it, it can't get me off the beach. I've got it up and I, I just stand there and I seem to anchor it quite sufficiently. Well, you know, it's possible you could get a bigger kite. I mean, you know. Well, how, how big a kite are we talking? Well, you can go up to probably 12, 13 meter kites, you know. I don't even understand that. I don't yeah. speak... You don't I don't speak me. meters. <laughs> Where do you pick up meters? I'm trying to get rid of all that. I'm an American now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, by the way, congratulations, Thank man. You. I didn't know about Elvis being your pops. That's Oh, cool. yeah. <laughs> it's a rumor. It's a rumor. It's really cool. It's a rumor. Are you, uh, you an Elvis fan? Do you like Elvis? Do a little bit of this. I'm pretty good. Huh? Yeah. No, I think I just look like I got some problems. <laughs> Are you, uh, are you a fan too of Elvis? Too much peanut, peanut butter and jelly. Peanut know. butter and jelly, sir. <laughs> Uh, I'm a big fan of Elvis. You've been I, at Graceland? I love Elvis. Uh, yeah, I've been to Graceland. I've had two. I thought it was quite moving when I was there. Yeah. Yeah. And it's pretty sweet. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Did you see his planes when you were there? I like that. When you, he has three planes there parked across the street from the house. Did you see that? Oh, no, they didn't give us that special tour. But they, oh, the special the tour? Family, well, the family it's just, you tour. pay an extra, you know, five bucks, and you get this. <laughs> the, no, it's across the street. They've got his planes parked there. Oh, he had a little plane, and then he didn't like flying Elvis, so he used to have seatbelts on the, on the bed on his big plane. Oh. I think they were seatbelts. I'm not seat so sure. Belts on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> look at that, look at that over there. Which one's the camera you always walk up to? Is that, that, one? Is that, uh, this that one? I think it's that one. It's this one here. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Uh, That's that one? cool. Yeah. Can I do it one yeah, time? Yeah, go on. I just, I never... <laughs> oh, yeah. Woody, Woody, Woody. Yeah. Woody. Okay. We can't light people in hats. You've got to take the hat off. There you go. Now go there. There you go. Now, now do it with it. Now do it with that. There you go, check that! Oh, yeah! <laughs> now, you've had your fun. Yeah. That's pretty yeah. cool. You're in the 2012 movie. Yeah. Do you think the world's going to end in 2012? Uh, probably. 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 Yeah. Well, that's, uh... Yeah, we better kick off our heels. Yeah, soon, that's, yeah, that's good enough for me. I'd like a pack of cigarettes right now, actually. <laughs> that's what I would do if I, if I was convinced the world was going to start smoking again. Well, why would, that, uh, why would that satisfy you? It wouldn't satisfy me, but I figure my chances of not getting cancer for three years... <laughs> You know, right. I don't know. I think, I think, I mean, maybe it'd be ironic. You get cancer, you die like a half a year early. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. I'd miss that final half year of. No! <laughs> ah! <laughs> I don't know, man. Well. You're quite healthy. You know, you don't smoke or anything like that. Not your cigarettes or anything. You uh, don't nothing legal. No, no. <laughs> Yeah, but your 
you're quite healthy. I, I mean, that's you don't. I mean, you're not a drinker or anything like that, are you? Uh, well, um, <laughs> I, I no, always I, thought of you as a very kind of healthy living. Didn't you have that oxygen bar at one point? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. where people went and had oxygen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was pretty cool. And then finally, that got asphyxiated. Um, <laughs> But, uh, no, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty healthy, uh, but, yeah, I do go on benders. Yeah. Do you really? Yeah, yeah. I find that very refreshing. Yeah. Oh, me too. You have to. <clears throat> no, no, I can't anymore. That, the last bender I went on is like 17 years ago. I was just no, like, but you don't do anything. Complete teetotaler. Oh, yeah, I have to be. Yeah, no, I just, because I, I, you know, I, what happens, I think I'm going to have like two or three beers. Then it's three days later, I'm in Tijuana with a sore ass and a tattoo. <laughs> and, uh, see what I mean? It gets that way. <clears throat> I wake up, I'm like, oh, it's a dumpster or something. <laughs> what, is it, what happens when you go on a bender? Does it go that bad? It can go south sometimes, but... Uh, <laughs> you know, by and large, I, I try to do it with friends or family around, someone, you know, to help me at the end of the night as I'm hobbling. <laughs> But you don't get, I, see, I would get angry and stuff. I'd start like, oh, you don't know me, and then cry and hug people and then fight them. <laughs> you didn't do any of that? <laughs> <laughs> you want to go drinking with me, don't you? No. I can see it in your eyes. No, no I can't. I, I, I honestly, I've seen a lot of people like you, but I don't, I don't tend to go like that. Well, see, that. that's good. That yeah. means you can, you can go out and enjoy it and relax and enjoy I get, yourself. I get quiet and kind of, you know, just take in everything, and then every once in a while I'll blurt something stupid out. Wait, 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 wait. Go back to quiet. This is, this is alcohol we're talking about, right? Yeah. What kind of alcohol makes you quiet and introspective? <laughs> I see. Right. Yeah. Alcohol that comes in a big pipe, dude. <laughs> that kind of alcohol? I mean, uh, no, I, you know, honestly, I, I stopped. Just drinking. Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> you're just, just there, you just right there, you just stopped. <laughs> <laughs> no, you were talking about... Oh, pop? Uh, yeah, no, I mean, I stopped uh, quitting. Oh, right, so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> good for you. Yeah. Well, that's right. That's two jokes for the price of one. Yeah, no, yeah. That's a, not, that kind of value is appreciated <laughs> around here. We're not big on expense. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about the Messenger movie. What's that about? Well, um, you know, it's myself and Ben Foster, our casualty notification officers in the Army, and uh, he, gets, uh, he comes back from Iraq, and I end up taking him under my wing just to show him the ropes, and uh, so the backdrop of it is casualty notification, or I guess you could say the dramatic uh, heart of the movie. And, and then he, uh, one of the uh, widows who we notifies, played by Samantha Morton, uh, right. he kind of falls for her. Ah. And uh, so it, it, I think it's incredibly well directed. Oren Moverman, I think, it, it's his first time, but I think he's a phenomenal director. So f first time director? Yeah, first time well, director. Well, so you've made a ton of movies. When you were working with a first time director, did you ever get tempted to go, no, 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 no? Come here. Come here. Let me show you how to do this. <laughs> no, that's not my style. Ah. <laughs> so, what do you just sit quietly, get introspective, and then. <laughs> <laughs> No, I can't. I can't introspect while working, uh, but <laughs> but I do. Uh, I I do think it's a great film. I think Ben Foster is like, a, a, you know, he's like a young Brando. He's a phenomenal, wow. intense, amazing actor. Has he been? And, he's, uh, not, he's not been here. Uh, he's coming here Thursday. Coming here yeah, Thursday. How about that? Yeah. You know what I mean? Incredible. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh you, no. do you keep the? Yeah, you, they're, they're, you we're keep keeping them until Thursday. Okay, yeah. you guys are doing it. Which means we gotta, we got to feed them and give them something to drink. We're out of time. Woody, thank you so much thank for dropping you. by. It's lovely to see you. Woody Harrison, everybody, we'll be right back. I, I gently stroke who's that. The, who's the gentleman with, uh, whose man boob you fell? Uh, Chris Evans, who plays Captain America. I don't think, he, I don't think he has man boobs, though. He's got firm well, chestly they, areas. Well, they were absolutely <laughs> enormous, though. Yeah. I mean, um... <laughs> <laughs> You know, coming from you, that's a hell of a thing to say. Oh my God, oh my God. I... For a man, uh, yes, yeah, they, yeah, they no, stood I... out.